If you need motivation and inspiration to start this year off the best you can, make all your dreams come true, you've come to the right place because I'm gonna talk all about everything you need to do to start of 2024. Amazing. Also, make sure to stay to the end of the video for a little surprise. If you're watching this video, this is our year. Lucky Girl Syndrome and Good Karma is coming our way. Karma is our boyfriends, okay? 2024 is gonna be our year because Eras Tour. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the first thing we need to do. I've already done this. You should grab a pen, grab a paper, and do this with me. Because walking into 2024 with still the same mindset as in 2023 is not what we're doing, okay? So we need to let go. We need to let go of everything that don't fuel us anymore, clothes we don't use anymore, donate them, relationships that don't fuel us anymore, that past relationship with that one person you still make fake scenarios about, but it's actually toxic, let go of that. I said to myself and to my friends a month ago just to keep me accountable that I'm never gonna talk about these specific things again because I'm letting it be in 2023. I'm letting go of it. Yeah, I'm never gonna talk about this situation. I'm never gonna talk about this person. I'm never gonna talk about these things. I'm gonna throw away these things. It actually kept me accountable so that I literally not thought about those negative things that I had to let go of since I said to myself that I wasn't doing it. So take all of those things, give them to me. I'm putting them in a box and I I'm locking the box and throwing the key because we're letting go of anything that are not supposed to join you in your journey to do whatever you dream of in life. Literally, I know it's a hard pill to swallow, but let go of things you don't need and that don't fuel you because it's so important to be able to move on. One of the best quotes ever that helped me let go of things, and it says, don't look back, you're not going that way. Things that happened in the past, things you regret, all of that, you've learned from it, it's done, out of the door you know what I mean also digital clean out is so important to let go of things so clean out your files clean out your apps apps that you don't use apps that don't fuel you last year I deleted snapchat delete it throw it in the garbage and delete it from the garbage <laughs> So another thing that is really important that you should do, you don't need to, but I think it's really important to be able to walk into a new year with a fresh start is writing these letters of like reflecting of the year that has been and reflecting on what you want this year to be. I write two letters, one for, for example, last year it was 2022 recap, 2023 start. In the middle of the year, I'll do a midway check. And then in the end of the year, I'll do the same, like 2023 recap, 2024 start. It's really good to reflect, to be able to go into another year because you have to understand what you did in the past year that didn't make the past year a year of your dreams coming true. If you want the next year to be a year of your dreams, dreams coming true. The last thing I want to say about vibration and energies and going into the new year with a new mindset and all of that is the people around you literally reflect who you are as a person and I know that if you go to school like me you can't choose the people in your class I'm very lucky because I love the people in my class but like you can't choose everyone that is around you but you can choose your close circle and if you know that in your close circle there are people that are like something here is not right then you need to also start letting go of that person when letting go of other people you want to find people who for example share the same interests as you share the same values as you that's so important values is a big one people who are energy givers and not energy takers and i know finding those people can be so hard and so scary but you need to put yourself out there by the way my dms are always open and i would love to be friends with you send me a dm or send me a snapchat or whatever Next point is New Year's goals. New Year's resolutions, everybody has them. And if you only have them in your head, you've said to yourself like, okay, I want to read 12 books this month or I want to be able to do a pull up this year. Write it down. I'm telling you, don't have it in your head. Write it down, pen and paper, not on your phone. Write it down on pen and paper because it manifests those things. For example, my New Year's resolutions are one, staying consistent with YouTube, sleeping and working out. Post one YouTube long form video a week and one YouTube short video a week. Work out at least three times a week and then I want to have a good sleeping schedule. My second New Year's resolution is to finish as much of my physical TBR as possible. So I have around 50-ish books on my physical TBR. My goal number three is to be able to do at least one pull up. Goal number four is to reach 10k subscribers on YouTube. My fifth goal is become financially stable because I don't have an income right now. I have a lot of things that I need to pay for. YouTube is one of my passions 
friends. I'm also hoping that as I grow on YouTube, I will also be able to get an income because I need money. I am going to make it my goal to do things that fuel me that I can make a living out of, like music, YouTube, that are both my biggest dreams. My sixth one is to be so disciplined that my life consistently looks like my vision board. And if that is this year or if that is next year, that doesn't matter to me, but I want to be so disciplined and work so hard that I can actually get to the place of what my vision board looks like. My seventh goal is getting my driver's license. It's self-explanatory. I'm turning 18 on October 10th, so I want to be able to get my driver's license. And then the last one is travel a lot and I really want to go back to France. Write down your goals. You need to have a plan of how you're going to get to your goals. You need to write at least three pointers under your goal of how you're going to get there. For example, how am I going to reach 10k subscribers on YouTube? If I do three pointers under that, I am going to learn how to make the killer thumbnail. Another pointer is maybe I'm going to start spending a real good amount of time on my editing, which I already do, but even more time so that people find it really engaging to watch. And then the third pointer could be, oh, I'm going to start making YouTube shorts so that I can get attention through that as well. Do that, write your goals, write pointer to your goals so you know what you're going to do to get there. Of course, we can't go into a new year with a messy space around us. We need to have a organized and clean space to be able to think clear. Go right now, clean your space while watching me clean because roll clips of me cleaning. I won't say more than it's time to clean and tidy and vacuum my bathroom, my living room and my room. Let's go. I have my AirPods in. I've put on a really good playlist and I'm ready to just do the worst thing in the world. It would all stop. Oh, I'm listening to Grace Heroes. I see the way we're going. Caught in another lonely night. Now I'm mad for no good reason. You should be right here by my side. Now we're only oceans away. upon us we're gonna clean this mess the basement slash my living room i'm scared anyways let's go literally able to clean and tidy my whole entire basement I'm so proud of myself now we're going to change up some things because I often say in my videos that my favorite way to start a new chapter is by changing up something in my room last time I did this I changed up my whole entire room which made it so much better to live in. Now we're gonna do something subtle but really important we're gonna change out my wall decoration. I have been feeling a little odd about my wall decorations for a while. I'm still gonna keep these so they won't go down. I'm also going to change the placement of my vision board and change it with the new one and I am gonna take this away. This is gonna be looking really different. The lighting here sucks but the first thing I'm gonna do 
So I'm gonna take down all of this. A really good tip, by the way, if you need to hang a picture on the wall and it's slightly thicker paper, so it makes it slightly heavier, try masking tape because masking tape works really well for hanging things on walls because it's supposed to stick on walls for like painting and stuff like that. Masking tape is literally the love of my life. Just saying. <laughs> It's literally 10 minutes to 4 a.m. What am I even doing? But I just finished and I have to show you. There used to be some wall decor that I made here, but now there are different things. Here I have my vision board. This is 2024's vision board and it's absolutely gorgeous. Never been so happy with anything in my entire life, I think. Then in this corner, I made a little One Direction corner, plus some letters from my cousins up there. They're so cute. And then here I have just several wall decor things that I made. Now we've cleaned, everything is good, everything is organized. So now, before even starting to work and starting this year, you are going to take an everything shower. Self-care is so important. Do a hair mask, double shampoo, scrub your body, scrub your face, wash your body, use body lotion. When you take an everything shower, you're going into the shower and you're feeling like, you know when in Wings Club, when they transform to like their cool outfits, roll clip of that happening. <laughs> They kind of go from this normal girl, school girl, and they go to this powerful superwoman type of girl, you know? And that's why I highly recommend doing that. If you just envision that, that that's the thing you're doing, you're gonna feel so powerful after. I've just gotten out of the shower. I took a long everything shower and it was amazing. I scrubbed my body, scrubbed my face, washed my face, washed my body, used my loofah. If you don't know what a loofah is, this is a loofah and it's very necessary. I did a hair mask. I feel so refreshed right now. It's insane. To top it all off, I'm gonna do a face mask and I'm gonna put on some body lotion. I have a matching pair kind of of body wash and body lotion and it's the Rituals of Jing. I love the scent. They also have this scent. It's blue with a red dragon on it and it's called Rituals the Legend of the Dragon, I believe. But this has a special place in my heart. One more thing about scents from rituals because this is my third favorite the rituals of namaste i think if you want a skincare based self-care based advent calendar go for rituals okay it's the best this video is gonna sound like i'm sponsored by rituals i'm not i just love them rituals sponsor me please we're gonna get into it i'm gonna put this on i'm gonna do this face mask as well from the rituals of namaste <coughs> This is what we're looking like. <laughs> I'm trying to smile, but it's kind of hard. And it's also kind of hard to talk. The packaging said to bring it all the way down to my neck and my collarbones. So that's what I did. That's why I look like an alien right now. Literally an alien. And I'm supposed to take it off in five minutes. <laughs> Just finished removing that face mask and it was a whole mess, but it's fine. I feel really clean and I feel like it... Oh my god, it actually cleaned out so what? Such an important step. Vision boards. You have to be able to envision what your dream life is going to look like. I always make vision boards that I can touch, that are physical. It's on my wall and I can see it every time when I wake up, every time when I do my skincare, every time that I sit and read. If I'm laying in bed and I'm looking at my vision board and I'm like, I'm not getting there by laying here and doing nothing. So what I did, I went on Pinterest and I searched up everything that could possibly match the aesthetic I want to have in 2024. I went to search for YouTube stuff, for music, traveling, working out, fashion, Big Ben, because I'm going to London. Stuff like that, that really reflect what I want to do in 2024 and what I want this year to look like. I took those pictures from the Pinterest board that I made, put them into Word, made them in a lot of different shapes and sizes, printed them out, cut them out, and 
then I glued them onto this big cardboard thing. Glued them onto that and then I hung it on my wall. Some of my goals for 2024 are like money, getting back on track with working out, staying consistent with YouTube, like music, stuff like that. Being a girl boss, basically. Manifesting a lot and becoming financially stable. As close to it as I can. And doing things that I love. So I have snowboarding, swimming, I have private plane, money, multi-millionaire mindset, girl boss, fashion, Spotify plaque, YouTube plaque, I'm Megan running, some affirmation fashion again music car energy givers workouts fashion blah 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 you know i'm obsessed i actually did the same for my ipad as well although i don't love having vision boards as my background but i actually did it on my ipad and that actually feels so cool so i just put the pictures that i love from pinterest on canva and i edit it in canva and i put it as my background it's that easy literally don't need to do anything else planning okay you have to plan. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail, as Taylor Swift said. If one of your New Year's resolutions are to work out more, you need to make a plan of what you're going to work out which days in your week. So for example, you're like, this year my resolution is I'm going to be better at working out. If you go into the gym without a plan of what you're doing, you're gonna feel so out of place. You're gonna be like, we're gonna do here, I don't know what I'm working out today. I don't, I don't know which muscles to target. I don't know what to do. And I feel so out of place and I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. If you go in to to the gym with a plan of what you're doing you have searched up on whatever TikTok or Pinterest or YouTube how to use the machines you want to use what muscles to target that day how you get to this goal if you want to have bigger biceps you need to know how to get bigger biceps you need to research your goal plan your goal and then do what needs to be done to get to your goal research plan do research plan do research plan just do it like Nike that's kind of a really important thing because if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. You need a game plan, you need a plan of action. Call it what you want, but you need a plan. And lastly, I'm gonna end this video with one more thing before the surprise at the end. I'm gonna say that it's also a really good thing to start with journaling in the new year. You don't need to follow prompts, you don't need to write out so many aesthetic things, so many, so many, so many things. You can just write out whatever you're thinking that day, how you're feeling, be honest with yourself in your journal, nobody else is gonna read it. Literally tell your journal everything and it's gonna feel so refreshing because you've actually put things to paper and also your ideas are gonna flow much better when you have ideas written down. Not everything is in your head. I think journaling helps a lot to just get your thoughts a little less scrambled, you know what I mean? If you are a person who loves journal prompts, here are some journal prompts that I love. I don't always use them. Sometimes I just write my thoughts, but some of these are really good, like writing what you're grateful for, because it literally, if you do that every day, you have to find something you're grateful for. Writing your highlight of your day, because even if you've been laying in bed all day and you're about to journal and you're like, I literally did not have a highlight of my day. My day sucked and I don't want to be here. This is horrible. Then you are forcing your brain to find something positive with that day. If that positive thing was that you got to lay in bed all day, that's still positive if you think of that as a positive thing. And if that positive thing was you watched your favorite show while laying in bed, that's good. If that positive thing was you ate a slice of bread, that's also positive because you see that as one thing that you actually enjoyed a little bit. You don't need to love it and it doesn't need to be, oh my god, I met my favorite celebrity today. It can be literally I drank a glass of water and it was refreshing. Also, I love the journal prompt of like affirmations writing out affirmations try and get as many as you can literally come up with because it's so good for your mental health to always write down and say out loudly things that are good about yourself because even if you don't believe it you're gonna trick your brain to believing it and in the end you're going to believe it so the little surprise that I'm gonna do in the end is a what's in my bag and that's because I don't know why but a lot of people have asked me if I can do a what's in my bag. So I'm gonna do a what's in my bag because on Snapchat people have asked me like can you do a what's in my bag or can you do it on what's in my bag which is the same in Norwegian. So I'm gonna do a what's in my bag for those maybe five people that ask for it. As we are going in to a new school year this is my bag has been for two years. 
it's doing the job. It has a lot of space, so I can bring a lot of things in it, and I love the space it has. So it's from Evan and Odd, if you wonder. Inside of it, I have my book for every subject that I have in school, where I just write notes, my notes book. It has a lot of stickers of One Direction on it. I have a binder. Is this called a binder? I don't, I don't remember. But I have school like papers, documents that I need to bring home to get my parents to sign it or whatever stuff like that. And then I have the book I'm currently reading. Don't like this book? Don't read it. But I have the book I'm currently reading. I have my pencil case with. A couple of pens and pencils that I need throughout the day at school. And I always have my Rubik's Cube because I need something to be able to like fidget with. There you go. And then I always have a little girl bag because it's needed. I have tampon pads, hairbrush, mascara, I think, deodorant, stuff like that that I need. And then I always have a bookmark or more bookmarks. Right now I only have one. I think I'm going to fill it because I have a jar of bookmarks. And it's really great if you lose your bookmark or if one of your friends needs a bookmark. So a bookmark is always necessary if you're a reader. And then I have this, which is a cover for my bicycle if I'm biking to school not that I've done that yet but if I do then I can put this on uh, the bicycle seat if it's raining so and then I have a Marcus and Martinez reflex because it's when you live in Norway and you go to school and home from school in the dark every day it's really important to have this so that the cars can see you so that nobody drives on your face and you die <laughs> and then I have an elastic, which is not supposed to be in there, it's supposed to be in here, but I have an elastic. So that was what was in my bag, and then in the front here I have hand lotion, which is really important, especially in the winter, because my hands are getting so dry. Then more elastics, which are also important. And then I have this, which is a wash for my glasses, and a, uh, like, cloth for my glasses, or whatever it's called. And then in this pocket here, I have... Here I have my glasses, or my sunglasses, more specifically. For now it's not sunny, so I have them there. And then I have my calculator for maths, which I need. And then I have something really necessary. I don't know what you call this in English, but I call it a shoehorn, which doesn't make sense, but you know, it's for, you put it here, and then you put your shoes in, which it, it's so necessary. And then I have a mist, a body mist. That was everything I had. That was everything for this video. I hope this video motivated you and inspired you to start 2024 off on the best note and to follow your dreams in 2024. I believe in you. You can do it. And if you like my videos, make sure to subscribe. Also, remember, I post one long form video every week and one YouTube short video every week or more. So make sure to catch up on my videos when you can. If you got to the end of this video, I literally love you. Bye. The Love you. Were too bright. The streets that promised me romance. You were nowhere inside. You looked for me.